Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for September 10th, 2019. So today, guys, we have kind of an interesting market. We've got a little bit of a pullback going on, but those bulls have been trying all morning to push us back up off of those overnight lows. So what's going on here this morning? Well, first off, we have... Um, a Brexit situation that is causing some uncertainty over in Europe. We're waiting on the ECB later this week making a decision on whether to provide a stimulus package to the market or not. Of course, the market really wants that. Anytime we can get free money um, or cheap money, um, the market um, is living on, um, you know, borrowed credit, essentially. And they love it. Um, we have, uh, next week, we have an FOMC meeting that the market is kind of waiting for. And so, consequently, we're seeing this light, choppy price action. The good news is, at least we have kind of slowed down on these big gaps, in these moves but we could probably expect uh, until we get some clarity on some of these issues um, a little bit of that kind of price action to continue choppy light price action there also seems to be a significant rotation going on in some of the leading names um, into uh, more um, and this is an institutional rotation not making it very easily tradable i can tell you that but that's also helping to fuel this market market a little bit higher. So let's take a look at the technicals here in the chart. First off, we have some resistance here um, in the diamonds chart that we need to be paying attention to. And that price resistance up here as we kind of try and push and grind and shove up toward that level, we'll have to watch that carefully for that possibility of that resistance failure. Remember, as much as we love a market rallying, we also have to remember that the possibility of a lower high failure does exist, and we have to kind of keep that in mind. Not that I'm predicting any kind of lower high failure. I'm not doing that at all. Just a suggestion that we still have to be wary of that situation and don't put on blinders that that possibility does not exist because it certainly does. Let's also keep in mind, we have this significant gap in here below. So if we were to start to pull back, if we were to pull back just to test that 50 day moving average, we could see some of that gap to getting filled. And that wouldn't be an abnormal price action move. And that would be just coming back here to kind of test that trend, see whether or not we're going to hold it. So keep that in mind, that is a possibility as well. Not predicting that that is going to occur either. As a matter of fact, what we could end up doing as we're waiting and really hoping for these stimulus packages and, and rate cuts and stuff from the FOMC is we could just consolidate in here sideways. Now that can be just as strong as any other signal in the market if we just consolidate this move if there's no sellers in here, that would certainly warrant more bullishness to the upside. So let's kind of keep an eye on that. SPY very much in the same situation. SPY pushing these price resistance levels in the chart, really, really trying to shove up here. Now this morning, we're getting a bit more of a gap down this morning in the SPY. A little bit of a pullback um, going on in here, but nothing terribly bad. Now, if we happen to slip into this gap, watch, uh, watch carefully. We could really pick up on those sellers if we slip into that gap. But if we hold in here, I think we're going to be okay, and we could just be in that consolidating mode right here underneath price resistance. Remember, we still have that 50-day moving average below. Would be fairly common for the marketplace to want to test that, so don't be too surprised if we do happen to come back down in here to test that. But that doesn't break up this trend. Everything should still be copacetic if that um, goes along and occurs that way. Let's take a look at the Qs real quick. QQQ also pushing up here toward these resistance highs, kind of camping out here. But this morning we're getting that darn gap down, getting that little bit of a gap down right in here to test these lows. Watch that carefully. That could easily slip 
into uh, that gap. Now, one of the things that's probably helping to fuel that is all the news that, you know, 48 companies are coming or 48 states are coming together to um, investigate uh, Google uh, for antitrust practices. And there's 10 states or 11 states coming together to um, investigate uh, Facebook uh, as well as uh, the federal investigations of Apple, Google, Amazon, um, those and, and Facebook. All of those are putting some pressure on that tech sector and could create some issues here in some of those stocks. So watch those closely, some of those big techs, if they start getting hit hard on these antitrust investigations, that could certainly damper the mood of the market. So watch that close. IWM crossed back up yesterday, giving us a nice little push up yesterday and this morning holding up pretty well. Now it's testing its 50 day moving average. We'll have to see if it can actually break through there. But overall, there's nothing about this IWM chart that should be uh, warranting a whole lot of bullishness in the market. The small caps just can't seem to find it much for love um, at the moment. But it is nice to see it trying to catch some rally with the rest of the market here, um, trying to lift up. Let's take a look at the VIX here real quick. Oops. The VIX itself, nice little resting uh, pattern yesterday. We had a little fear creep in for a little while, and then it kind of slipped away. Um, by the end of the day, um, there's that downtrend we've been talking about here in the chart. This is a price level of support, which has now become a price level of resistance. It's possible with this little bit of selling coming in that we could see a little bit of fear. That could creep up past this um, um, resistance level. We'll have to watch that pretty closely. Right now, there just doesn't seem to be a whole lot of fear in the market. Nobody seems to be at all concerned about slowdown or any of those kind of things. Everyone, I think, is pretty much assuming that the federal government's going to dive in with a whole bunch of money, um, both in in all around the country, and and kind of hold this market up artificially with uh, printed money. So. Um, we'll have to wait and see how um, how that works out, um, whether or not we do hold. Let's take a look at a T2122. T2122, the four-week new high, new low ratio, is showing us up here in that bearish reversal zone. But keep in mind, we can kind of hang out here for a while. We don't necessarily have to just collapse or fail. Um, even a, um, a little bit of a consolidation, a resting consolidation can move this uh, back. So kind of keep that in mind. We don't have to have a massive collapse in the market. In fact, it'd be really nice, wouldn't it, to not see these ugly price swings that we've been seeing lately, a little bit more of a resting pattern. That would be really nice and um, help things out a lot. But keep in mind, we are up here in that reversal zone where we could see those sellers wanting to take some profits, um, push this back just a little bit. So let's um, keep a close eye on that and just not rule out the possibility that you know, those bears are still out there and um, they could still come back um, on us um, in this market. Let's um, take a quick look at our economic calendar today. Economic calendar may have something to say about what goes on today. Not a lot, but there is something on here. We have the jolts uh, number, taking a look at those job openings. And that comes out at 10 a.m. That's probably our biggest um, market mover today. And not a big deal um, overall. So we'll just want to keep an eye on that. The bigger reports are coming later this week, and we'll want to pay attention to those as we move toward that midweek. Um, economic calendar. On our earnings calendar today, we don't have too many earnings, only 14 companies reporting earnings today, but we have some some names that might want to pay attention to, like GME. GME has been trying, just been terribly downtrending, but trying to break that downtrend right now. They'll be reporting um, uh, their earnings today. Also, Play. Play is trying, whoops, there we go, Dave and Busters. Um, some more um, gaming here, 
but play is trying to come up out of this bottom and they will be reporting um, earnings today we have restoration hardware that has been in a beautiful upside trend uh, will be reporting its earnings so we'll want to kind of keep an eye on that and ZS also uh, Zales um, supposed to be reporting today so we'll want to keep an eye on that not Zales <laughs> um, I don't know why I said Zales <laughs> confused this morning so keep an eye on these charts let's talk a, 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 just a little bit about um, um, charts that could be setting up for today but just before we do that if you guys would do me a favor if this is the first time you've seen these videos do me a favor and click that subscribe button on YouTube click that follow me button if you happen to be watching this on Facebook and also make sure and click those thumbs up buttons and leave a brief comment if you uh, feel the video is worthy. And I truly appreciate everyone who does that. It helps these algorithms show these videos to more folks. Our channel keeps growing here and it truly is the response, I mean, true not the responsibility, but it really is because of um, the subscribers and you guys clicking those thumbs up buttons and leaving those comments that we're uh, continuing to grow the channel. Thank you so much. You guys are awesome. I truly, truly appreciate that. Um, also, I want to share with you um, that it's perfectly acceptable to take any one of these videos, share them on Facebook or Twitter or wherever you might share those, share them with any friends and family. Um, I would appreciate that as well. So thank you so much, guys. Everyone, um, it means so much to me that... Um, the 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 kind comments the the things that you guys leave there um you truly are awesome thank you very much let's take a look at a few stocks that could be setting up for today um and i want to remind everyone that every time i show a stock um, I'm not trying to uh, point out a stock that's immediately ready to trade. Um, any, any stocks I show in here are not a recommendation to buy or sell any security, just a, uh, an idea that you might want to put on your watch list, evaluate the chart, see what, uh, see what can happen from there, and see if there's a, a trade in there that could help you um, in the days and weeks ahead. Let's take a look at WDC. Now, WDC has just been beautiful in this move up I think it's probably ready or due for a consolidation or a pullback and you can see it's starting a little bit of that consolidation right in here a little bit of a sideways shut slide here any kind of rest or pullback could certainly set up an opportunity and um, these guys are showing some pretty good strength right now so I'm gonna put the trend somewhere right around here and watch this to see if it can pull back or maybe even consolidate over into this area uh, to move on up so keep an eye on WDC looking pretty good overall take a look at CME now CME had a major sell-off yesterday just really got uh, hammered down hard but we've seen that before with this stock and it comes right back so keep an eye on CME to see if this can bounce off of this area come right back up and get a bit of a lift one thing I want to note here is the strong trend the length of this trend and how strong that is let's take a look at um, an ETF um, XLF. Now, XLF, the financials, all of a sudden in this rotation, institutions seem to be making a rotational move into some value type plays. It's interesting that they're, pu they're pushing on very key um, stocks as if they're um, really trying to engineer a new market high because they're pushing on um, those really high um, highly weighted stocks in the market and it's interesting to watch this occur but what's happening right now is XLF has moved up substantially and you can see breaking this uh, longer term downtrend now any kind of a rest consolidation or pullback could certainly set up an opportunity here in XLF as this rotation seems to be gaining a little traction here and um, seeing some significant moves and like I say we're seeing it um, it, it's pretty select um, 
for example, Goldman Sachs is a heavily weighted company in the Dow, and they just had a major push, a major um, shove in Goldman Sachs yesterday, trying um, really hard to push. And that's, of course, changing uh, the market dynamics. So if you take a look at Goldman Sachs, um, after breaking this little downtrend area, breaking up into this little support area here, any kind of rest consolidation or pullback now could certainly set up that trend. So keep an eye on some of these uh, big financials. They seem to be part of that rotation. And we're losing some of that rotation in stocks like Shop. Shop uh, seems to be um, getting punished from that. We now have that official lower high here breaking the trend in Shop. So be really, really careful of some of these long trending names that have done so well. Um, it seems like we we could be rolling out of those and into some of those stocks that are more of that value play. So um, keep that in mind. Seeing moves in, in stocks that, um, well, just kind of surprising. Um, IBM, IBM picking up here. Now IBM running right into some price resistance in this chart and still overall in a downtrend. But we're seeing um, interesting names like this starting to pick up and um, gain some prominence. Take a look at like 3M. 3M trying to roll up out of this bottom. Whether or not these plays will actually follow on through, I don't know. But there does seem to be that institutional rotation into some of these value type plays. And they, they like to sneak into these, um, so don't expect it to be a, a steady push. They'll, they'll, they'll push for a while, and then they'll back off, and then they'll push for a while. They want to sneak into these positions. Um, if they move them too far, that will go beyond their buy points, and we'll actually see them pull back as um, waiting for them to get back into that buy zone um, where the institutions are making that rotation. They can't throw it all in at once. So kind of keep that in mind. This will be a bit of a process if that's what's going on here, but we'll want to watch that pretty closely. Um, so with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day and I want to wish you great profits. Again, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, please do me a favor and click that subscribe button and click those thumbs up buttons and leave a comment. I thank you everyone very, very much. And by the way, if you're interested, every single day I post a a morning blog and um, right underneath the title of this video there will be a link in the description where you can um, jump over to the blog post and today I talked a little bit about um, that trading edge what you because a lot of folks are frustrated right now and they're trying to force trades and they're trying to trades when they have really no technical advantage and no edge. They're bored. They're, they're getting that fear of missing out. And I'm running into a lot of traders here lately that are losing significant amounts of money in this market. And it's largely due to the fact that they're trading without an edge. They're allowing their emotions to dictate their trading. So if you're interested in something like that, go ahead and take a look at that blog. And if there's anything that we can do to ever be helpful to you, please check us out at Hit and Run Candlesticks and Right Way Options. We'd love to help you improve your trading. With that, everyone, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. We'll talk to you all bright and early Wednesday morning. Have a good one.